security incidents and interference were reported from across the country. Predominantly, these were inter-party clashes <coughs> and attacks on election sites by hoodlums, often involving ballot box annexation material snatching. Problems have been very severe in rivers and Aquaibo states, where there are multiple credible reports of violence and interference. It is very regrettable that so many people lost their lives during polling day. Welcome back. We're still with the former director of the Center for Democracy and Development, Dr. Ibrahim Jibrin. Thank you for joining us once again. My pleasure. Well, we're left off now with uh, your comment on the three agenda, uh, the three ch things they in intend to dwell on when they come into government. But the thing is, uh, another concern is infrastructure deficits that the nation's experiencing right now. How feasible will this will it be for the incoming administration to uh, treat other salient matters when this is still pending? I think the issue of infrastructure is uh, very crucial to any attempt to revamp the Nigerian economy. There's one element in the infrastructure arena that's extremely crucial, and that's electricity. The tragedy of the last 16 years of the PDP is that no country has over a period of time invested as much as we have done in electricity only to have zero results at the end of the day. Over the last 16 years, since Bola Ige promised to resolve our electricity problems within two years, we've, sent, we've spent over $16 billion on generating electricity and distributing it. The general expectation is that for every $1 billion you spend, on generation, you are able to produce 1,000 megawatts of electricity. Unfortunately, we spent $20 billion, and the electricity production and distribution in Nigeria is still very much what it was in 1999. That's vacillating between 2,000 and 3,000 megawatts. This is the worst form of governmental criminality I've seen in my lifetime. It means public officials have pocketed about $20 billion promising to supply electricity, and we have zero results. When we come to write the history of democracy and good governance in this country, that will be a huge and important chapter. I think it's very important that the incoming government reviews what happened to that massive investment. Why is it that we have no results for the investment? Who was responsible for this mega looting of Nigeria's national resources. They need to understand it so that moving forward we can begin to see a correspondence mm -hmm. between investments in infrastructure and improvement in infrastructure. I listened to the Good Luck Jonathan campaign and one of the things they were saying is that they've produced 26,000 kilometers of new Tad road in this country. I've asked so many people, where have you seen that 26,000 uh, kilometers of Tad road? And nobody is able to give you an answer. I think we've been through really a period of governance in this country where the focus of Im on infrastructure has really been one of massive theft of public resources 
rather than the improvement of the infrastructure. It's a culture and a trend that must change if we are to be able to revamp and revive our economy. So you think even the, the little infrastructure put, put in place, of course, by the present administration, for instance, the railway and uh, other things really is nothing to write home about? The railway is one of the biggest lies of the 21st century. What they did was to paper over the old rail line. The Nigerian rail lines were laid between 1900 and 1912. That's over a hundred years ago. The metal is dead. You need to build a new rail line. When Obasanjo was leaving office, he negotiated a contract with the Chinese to build a new standard gauge rail line. Uh, the Eradua administration discontinued that project. When Jonathan came, rather than addressing the problem with the seriousness it deserves, decided to give contracts to try to fix the old rail lines, which have many problems. One is narrow gauge. Secondly, uh, it couldn't drive through hills. It went around hills, making it long and very curvy. And all this meant that it's just money wasted and put into the pockets of PDP politicians. I know they have stories that they fix the rail lines. The reality on the, on the ground is that no rail lines have been fixed in this country, and that's left for the new government to address. Now, some people also have suggested a government of national unity, for instance, you know, that would uh, help boost the polity. What do you think? We have a government of national unity coming in. Nigerians massively voted for the Buhari administration. When you look at the map of who voted in majority for Buhari, it's very national. So we are already there. We have a government of national unity under uh, Muhammadu Buhari. Very well. So in, in, in the years to come, what do you think Nigeria, Nigerians would be rejoicing over, at least uh, in terms of change? Change is something we need for this country. And change would mean real improvement in the lives and livelihoods of Nigeria. I think it's important for people to know real change will take time. But what's important in terms of government is to change the direction of development. For a very long time, we had governance, which was focused on raising the level of mega corruption, deceit. We need a government that will now start using public resources for the public good. That in itself will be a significant uh, shift. To assess that change, we have to give time. And the moment we are in in our national history is a moment of hope. Whether that hope will translate into reality is a question left for time. Well, very well, former director of the Center for Democracy and Development. Thank you for joining us on Dateline Abuja. Thank you. Thank you. Well, thank you very much for your comments. And you can be a part of the program by sharing your experiences with us using the address and Twitter handle on your screen. Let us know what's happening within your locality, especially if you're in the nation's capital. Don't forget you can view the program on youtube.com forward slash channels web forward slash videos. Make your comments after viewing the current video as well as older episodes of the program. Thank you for watching this week. I'm Gloria Umezuki. See you again.